funny enough, the most common injury when it comes to archery in general is self-inflicted. So that's why I provide arm guards for everybody. This goes on your non-dominant hand. So if you write with your right, it goes on your left. There you go, man. There you go. If you want to just pull up a little bit more, you got that? Perfect, there you go. Now the most dangerous thing when it comes to archery is dry firing. Dry firing is when you fire a bow without an arrow connected to it. So if you guys can imagine, when you pull back on the string, that's what generates all the power to the bow. So if you pull back and let go, that's what moves the arrow forward. However, if there's no arrow connected to the bow, all the energy goes back into the bow limbs, right? So when they break, they create splinters and they go all over the place, all right? With not only hurting yourself, but potentially hurting everybody around. We have the 26 pound bows, and we have the 22 pound bows. Now the poundage of the bow isn't how much it weighs. If you can see, this is a 30 pound bow, but it's actually pretty light. The poundage of the bow is how much energy it takes to draw that bow all the way to its maximum potential. Now the benefit of a 26 is that it shoots arrows faster and straighter, but it makes it more accurate. However, it does get tiring pulling on a 26 pound string. Now the benefit of a 22 is that it is a little bit weaker in strength, but because it's weaker, it's easier to maintain consistent form and pull back to the same point over and over and over again. So that's where that bow gets its consistency from. Each bow should have two plastic tabs. These are called bigger tabs. Just make sure that the small one is facing on top. If it is, then you're holding the bow in the right direction. If not, you guys can just flip the bow around. So I need everyone to turn, staring at that wall. When you guys stand, make sure you guys are stand with your legs shoulder width apart. Now with your right foot, take one step forward. Now with your bow arm, you're gonna stretch your bow out all the way. Now make sure your chest is still facing the wall. You're not adjusting your chest, all right? Your chest is still facing the wall, your arm's straight. On the other hand, stretch it out all the way to the back wall. Bending at the elbow, touch your lower jaw. All right, so this is your anchor point. This is the point in which you're gonna draw to at all times. The farther you pull back, the more power you get, but you also wanna maintain consistency. Nice, right on the spot. Ooh.